There's been so much hype around vitamin D and unfortunately, most of the studies have been disappointing in terms of its actual benefits, but a brand new study reveals an area where it's super helpful. Researchers found that it cuts sick days by nearly 20%, but they also discovered that we have to get the dose right. So in this video, I'll explain the study and the current guidelines when it comes to the proper dose. So most tissues in the body react to vitamin D in some way, and this has led to researchers to explore how low levels of vitamin D might relate to a whole host of health problems. So once we started looking, we found associations everywhere. And along with reports of widespread deficiency, it generated a massive push for vitamin D supplementation as a sort of cure or but more recent evidence, however, has failed to find the expected benefit from vitamin D supplements in many areas. But there are exceptions, like this new study. It involved 189 children in Denmark, and the purpose was to investigate the effects of vitamin D supplements on respiratory infections. So in this case, there was a placebo group and a group taking 25 micrograms, or about 1,000 international units, of vitamin D every day over a period of six months during the winter. Here's what the trial showed. The children who took vitamin D had 17% fewer sick days from respiratory infections. What's more, they had an incredible 43% fewer days when a respiratory infection was accompanied with a fever. And the authors note that the dose seems critical. In this study, the dose was 1,000 international units. That's a lot higher than the 400 currently recommended by Nordic countries. But why did they pick that particular dose? Well, partly it's because that earlier studies found effectiveness at doses near that level. But it's also due to previous studies by the same authors. They found that daily vitamin D supplements of 800 international units help to maintain normal immune response during winter. But in contrast, a daily dose of 400 international units didn't help. But then why did this new study choose 1,000 international units? Well, the researchers realized that normal kids, they're going to miss some doses. So they figured that the average intake with 1,000 international unit supplements would be about 800 international units overall. 